You'd think athletes are born fit and in better condition than everyone else, but even they have to put significant work in for results. Not all these results can look like Adama Traore or Cristiano Ronaldo's transformation, though. Others tend to be slightly understated, even though the players put in an immense level of work. Lionel Messi is one of these players. At just 5'7", you wouldn't notice the finer details of his physical changes right away, but we assure you, they're there. The Argentine's body has undergone a massive transformation through the years that has enabled his career to be prolonged while also destroying every team in his path. Let us tell you about how the GOAT made his body into a footballing machine. At the age of 10, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency. At the time, he was below 5 feet and always the smallest player on every pitch he stepped onto. He had to undergo plenty of painful injections and move away from home to Barcelona, where he received treatment to his current height. It was a rough time for Messi, but the one solace he had was football. He would always walk onto the field with a smile on his face and play the game he loved with all his heart. He had a natural talent and otherworldly skills that no one had ever seen before, and he was able to get by with only this for a while. But he couldn't get away with that for too long because, as we know, hard work will always beat talent. Messi realized this and sought to build his body in the pursuit of greatness, and there was one man who helped him achieve this goal. The man's name was Paco Sarullo. He was a Barcelona trainer in the early days of Messi's career and was known to be one of the best in the business. He was also a master tactician, but where he truly shined was on the training ground. He was with Barcelona for years and one of the unseen forces during 2008 to 2012, arguably Barcelona and Messi's most successful times. He developed a method for Messi known as structured periodization that allowed his growth to be natural without hindering his talent. This training focused on jumping exercises, slaloms and sprints alongside other drills that worked to improve his overall game and areas of weakness. He also recognized that relentless training was not for everyone and Messi wasn't someone who liked to be overworked. As such, he put him through just enough instead of doing massive amounts of training that would have left him exhausted. All this thus helped Messi in areas such as speed, endurance and jumping, making him a force to be reckoned with in the early 2010s. Maybe it even explains how he scored that famous headed goal in the 2008 Champions League final. Cerullo stayed on as a fitness coach until 2014 before a promotion to a higher office at Barcelona. Watching Messi during the period they worked together leaves no doubt that Paco seriously improved him as a player. There was another hurdle though that Messi had to conquer and this one wasn't so easy for the Argentine. This hurdle happened to be his eating habits. You may or may not know this, but during the early years of his career, Messi's diet was akin to a high school student as opposed to a professional athlete. He would eat all kinds of unhealthy food you could think of, from chocolate to traditional South American sweets. His favorite, though, was Coca-Cola, and there are stories of his fridge always being filled with bottles of the fizzy drink that he would have after games. Pep Guardiola even had to remove a vending machine from Camp Nou grounds as Messi was always seen there getting a Coke. It wasn't a a good thing for the GOAT, and he recognized this problem as well. In 2014, he decided to make a choice for the future of his career, partnering with Italian nutritionist Giuliano Poza. This brought about wholesale changes to the Argentine's diet. Poza identified five key foods, water, olive oil, whole grains, fresh fruit, and fresh vegetables as the foundation of Messi's new dietary regime. He also advised him to cut down massively on meat, which he now rarely eats during the season. Messi himself admitted to all this, saying, I ate badly for many years, chocolates, fizzy drinks, and everything. That is what made me throw up during games. Now I look after myself better. I eat fish, meat and salads. Everything is organized and taken care of. You could possibly say that Poser and Sarullo are some of the two most important people in Messi's life and in that regard you'd be correct. Let us not forget though that to apply all of this took plenty of heart from him. He has to keep up with his diet and continued on with the workouts to date, changing his body from flabby to extremely defined as it is now. Even at 35 he is still at the top of his game and these changes to his life helped massively with that. Another aspect of his transformation would happen to be his fashion sense. 
I think we can all agree that Messi struggled massively with this earlier in his footballing career. All you need to do is take a look at his outfits from his previous Ballon d'Or ceremonies to see what we mean. From his 2011 catastrophe of a suit to his shiny polka dot one in 2012, you'll be hard pressed to believe he was actually one of the best paid players in the world. He simply lacked an eye for fashion, which is understandable as not everyone is blessed with this. His talent was already immense, so who needed an eye for fashion? Thankfully, for the sake of himself and his fans, this changed over the years. Whether the Argentine finally understood how to dress or got some good people around him is unclear. What is clear though is that he began to turn heads with the way he dressed. Taking a page out of Ronaldo's book in 2019, Messi decided to launch his own clothing brand. Crazy, coming from the man in a polka dot suit, but he did it. He partnered with Ginny Hilfiger, the sister of Tommy, to create a range of clothes that are now sold on his own online shop known as The Messi Store. He also had a collaboration with bespoke Savile Row tailors Richard James on fine suits through his clothing brand. These are just two of his numerous fashion endorsements though, and they have truly helped in improving his chances. Either way, Messi's physical standing has come a long way since his early days, and these have benefited him both on and off the pitch. It truly shows that no matter how good you are at something, you still need to work very hard at it. Hopefully, Messi keeps playing for many years. What do you think of Messi's transformation through the years? Let us know down below in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any of our new content. Catch you next time. Bye!